I found these super cute light up letters. I was really excited when I saw these in the display because it was so adorable. So these are kind of like a plastic material and there's a little tab you can pull out and then the letters light up. You can see all the little bulbs. So these would be so cute in like a bedroom or like I could see it in like a teenager room or like a YouTube backdrop or something. And they also had a larger size and then they had some smaller sizes as well. But this was so far the best display I've seen of these signs. Here you can see this one, someone unplugged the little tab so it was lit up. This is one of the larger letters. So I hope you guys can find these because they are super cute and they would make a cute gift as well. Moving on to some summer finds. These inflatable decors are so fun if you're having a summer party or a luau. The flamingo, so cute. You can also like kind of tack these onto the wall. They're not really that big. Some fun little cups. These again would be great for a luau. Moving over to some of the July 4th finds, they had some cute new signs. I feel like every time I go, I find some new signs. I really like this one, how it kind of had that wood on top and it looked like a banner. Here's a cute little USA camper. Love this fuzzy pink claw clip. I thought it was so dang cute. And then here's a matching scrunchie. These really cute headbands. I always like showing you guys the new hair finds because I always find new stuff in the hair section every time I go. Here's another one. Next, we have these really cute scrunchies that have little pearls hanging down some new claw clips these butterfly clips are really cute they also had some more colors then i found more of the ardell aqua lashes these have mixed reviews on my instagram some people were saying they're so hard like it doesn't work so yeah kind of i guess know that going into it these actually look like a really more thin kind of band but you can also wear them like with regular glue if you want to Okay, then I found these Mommy and Me spa headbands. This was a part of like the Mother's Day collections, but so cute. And then I also saw these like little scrubs. This one was a foot scrub and a foot mask. Some uh, Reed diffuser scents. And then these lavender shower fizzes. Some hot and cold iPads in some different patterns. This floral microfiber hair wrap a bath glove and this was all like their little collection that they had i'm just a little bit behind on posting this these salt foot scrubbers are great for calluses moving over to the school section i found some new jot post-it pads the new jot line is really cute they have some fun stuff and i keep finding uh, new items every time i go to the school section Then I found some new little um, like binder pouches, some fun colorful paper clips. This to-do list is really cute. I had never seen these patterns before. And then this is a post-it holder. love these fridge holders this is definitely one of my favorite items so i definitely recommend that i have a couple of those in my fridge and it just helps you be more organized i also really like these for draws at a on it in a desk and then these smaller ones i also really like these for makeup this is the spice rack it's a little flimsy but it does the trick once you have all your spices on it because everything kind of weighs it down this was a really cool find, this Goalie Super Greens Gummies. You get a 60 count. And one of my followers on Instagram told me the, like where to find them, which I thought was really nice. The only thing is that they expire in June, so you really should eat them by June. So here we are uh, going into June, so they would be good for one more month. So I'm assuming that's why they were at Dollar Tree, but 
a lot of people were saying that they were really good and they gave them energy and stuff. So nothing's wrong with the vitamins. It's just the best by date. Then moving on to another store, I went to a bunch of different stores. And I just put them all into one video. I found these cute little like bags for bridal parties, like tote bags. And here is another one for the bride. Some bucket hats. How fun are these? These are really trending because it's like the Y2K style. So I just thought it was cute that Dollar Tree had them. More of the 4th of July stuff. We have more signs. Those are actually really big. Like, I was pretty surprised that they had such large signs for just $1.25. You can put those, like, on your porch. Some cute little plates. Um, bandanas. Those are also really cute on dogs, like uh, as a little outfit. If you have like a medium or larger size dog. Okay, moving over to some craft finds. I found the cutest little iron-on patches. I don't know exactly what I want to do with these yet. I'm thinking maybe put them on a hat would be cute. But I love this one with the smiley face and the have a nice day. It would also be cute on like a denim jacket. Here is one with some planets. This one is a unicorn and a sparkly heart. Loved this one with the gumball and the lollipop. Found some new stamp items. I don't really know how these work, but it was like a stamp block another stamp block so I guess if you like stamping and then here's some shore living fabric I found which is specific to that collection with like lots of nautical prints and I found these little rings which I thought were interesting I don't really know what to do with those but if you're crafty I'm sure you know and then they had those larger ones and then I found these nautical uh what are those called like beads wooden beads more of these uh, like wreath rings. Those are cool. I had not seen those before. And then we have some shore living little like picks, which are cute. So you can see they have some shells on them. I had not seen these before either. Okay, then on to some hair finds. I found this new bridal collection of clips. And we have a lot of pearls, a lot of jewels, so very bridal. I actually have this clip. It's really pretty. Here's another one that I have and love. And then this is like kind of a little embellished uh, comb. Kind of reminds me of like Titanic, this one as well. This portion of the video is sponsored by Beauty Guru. And I love their natural hair serum. They actually just came out with this new fancy packaging, which is so nice. This is amazing if you're trying to grow out your hair 
or um, any like balding that you have on your scalp. The ingredients are 100% natural and pure. And I absolutely love this brand. You guys know I rave about them all the time. And I just love this product. It really has helped my hair grow so long. So make sure you use this and do a scalp massage and really work it into your scalp. And I leave it on for about like an hour and then I rinse it out with a clarifying shampoo. Love it. Okay, then I found some Yes To products. This is the Yes To, to Cucumbers Daily Gentle Toner for sensitive skin. I also saw these really cute s'mores band-aids. I think I picked these up because I just thought they were so adorable. And then this Scooby, these Scooby-Doo band-aids. Then I found these really adorable fruit makeup sponges. So they were actually like the wedges that kind of break in half. So how cute are these? I love the lemon one. Then I saw these new ombre makeup brush holders. I actually have these, but the solid ones. So these colors are new. I also found in the food section these name brand Thai Kitchen Coconut Rice Packets. I love rice packets. I use these all the time. Just the easiest way to make rice. Moving on to my next store, I found these Shore Living little plaques. I don't know what you want to call them. Decor. It was just like a little decor piece. And some more shore living signs that I had not seen yet. Life is better at the beach. Home is where the anchor drops. Beach vibes only. Here's another one. They had a lot of new stuff this year for the shore living collection. Some large signs that are uh, vertical. This jute ball, so cute, very well made. Some more signs. If you have like a beach theme house, this would be such a fun line to decorate. Here is some shore living burlap craft fabric. This little fishy, another cute decor piece. And then some shore living wreaths that you can decorate. We have some 4th of July dish towels with gnomes. And then again, another overview on the 4th of July section. Gnome of the Brave. I thought that was cute in the little truck. So we're still going strong with the gnome decor. The little camper. This is a different version of a camper. I kept finding new uh, decor like for 4th of July at every store I went to. So of course, I have to show you guys everything I find. So cute, these little hair accessories that are 4th of July themed as well. We have some scrunchies with little, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> I don't want to say tassels. Little, I don't know, hanging. And this headband. I think they usually have this headband. So these are, all the bandana ones are new for this year. some more bandanas. And then I found new summer colors in the bubble candles. So cute. They had orange, green, and pink. To me, these are just too cute to light. So I just have them as decor. Then I found some new wall decor pieces that were like little fragrance bottles. Love that one. I thought it was so fun. Here is another one. And another cute one. Remember that chevron print was like all the rage back in the day. Then I found these new glass, I don't know, decor pieces in those same like summery colors. This little decanter bottle had a pretty little top. 
Then I saw these really nice fruit picks, which I had never seen before. So I think this is their new farmer's market line that they have. So this one is like oranges and then this one is peaches. Did I show this one already? Oranges again. And then we have some lemons. And then these are just little like new fruit picks that I had not seen either. So a really fun and summery collection. This is a little apple pick. These arrows I found in the craft section, I had not seen these before. I thought they were kind of cool, something a little different. They came in packs of two. Some burlap leaves and flowers. These wall hooks. What do they call that print? I can't remember. It's like, I can't remember. This is like a little photo holder. Oh, for lease. I think that's what it's called. And then these are really nice in the baby section. There are these containers to hold food or like cereals. And they have this little like top where you can put your fingers in and, or the kid can put their fingers in. I've seen these before. Like my sister has them. So those are cute. And then I found some new checkerboard headbands. That one had like a big bow on it. And then a checkerboard barrette. Barret? Did I say that right? I haven't said that word in a while. This claw clip I thought was so cute because it was like double, had two colors, and I thought that was kind of fun and like reminded me of the 80s. Then I found these After Sun face and body towels from Arm and Hammer. So these are a knee brand fine. These pearly faux mink eyelashes. This is from Be Pure's new bridal line. We have some pearl face and body gems. This bridal emergency kit. And it has like bobby pins, hair ties, little doodads, if you will. Um, they, I think it has a nail file. And then I found these really cute bridesmaid. Oh my gosh, I'm want to say purses, but they're just like little zippered pouches, which would be fun to put into like a bridal uh, bridesmaid's gift type of bag. Sorry, words are hard. Um, and then I found these little mirrors, which are also so cute. And they have this whole little, like, little bridal theme going on here because we are in June or going into June. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this huge Dollar Tree shop with me. Love you so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.